Welcome back to the farm. My name's Roz, also known as Passion Flower, and you'll find me here each week talking about my farming and creative life. Last week was so busy and so much progress, but this week has been a lot quieter. I think mostly because the weather has really turned. It's been a much cooler and much wetter week, so we've spent most of the time indoors by the fire. I did get a little bit of gardening done just outside the front of my place. There is a few plants and roses and a couple of passion fruit vines and the grass has sort of grown up in between all of that. So I did some weeding there so that now it's clear where the plants are and we'll be able to mow in and around. I'm thinking now whether I should perhaps mulch that area and maybe add some additional plants in between the plants that are already there just to try and stop the grass from growing back. Before the weather got very wet, I took a couple of walks in the paddocks, which was quite nice. Managed to find a lot of mushrooms and toadstools at the moment, all different shapes and sizes and colors. It's amazing how there are so many and of all different types. We certainly didn't get this many last year. I think again, it's because of the amount of rain that we have had this season compared to last. I also finally finished off that chest of drawers that I painted quite a while ago. I put in the brand new bottoms, nailed those in, and the final thing I had to do was to reattach all of the handles. So that's completely done now, and I'm really happy with how it turned out for my very first painting job. I ended up doing the, the drawer itself, the whole cabinet part, in the lilac grey colour, and then I did the handles in rose quartz, and I think that it looks really cute. A little while ago, I shared with you that I was designing a scarf pattern. Now, I have finally finished writing the pattern up properly, and I have taken some photos of me outside wearing the scarf and some close-up of the stitch detail, and it is now available to purchase on Ravelry for $4. Here is a the scarf as a reminder. It is called the Ridge Scarf. I hope that you'll go check it out and hopefully enjoy knitting it as well. I also spent some time this week going through my currently dyed up stock and reorganizing it a little bit. I realized that there were a few things that I didn't have listed in my shop or that I needed to do some re-editing or some photographing of. So I have gone through and reorganized all of my yarn. I'm now stacking it vertically in clear tubs so it's much easier to see and be able to just grab out the color. And hopefully that will make organization and filling orders much easier. Now for the big reveal. Nine months in the making, I've finally finished the color block blanket. And it's turned out so well. It is 137 by 133 centimeters. So it's not quite square. The, the blocks ended up being a little bit more rectangular than square. But it is absolutely unreal. I'm so, so very happy. Here it is. Not going to be able to see much of it in the picture because it is so big. But I'll insert a picture that I took by hanging it on the clothesline so I was able to get it all into the shot. The five coloured yarns I bought from the Unwind Craft Cafe and it is Fibra Natura Sensational. They're all colour numbers, they're not names but they're in my Ravelry project page if you're interested in the colors. And the cream is a mill end eight ply from Wangaratta Woolen Mills. I made a couple of modifications. The first modification that I made was that I switched out one of the stitch patterns. There was a cabled pattern and I switched it out for a broken diagonal rib. I altered the square layout. I, I think I showed you that I played around with a few different ways of, of putting the colors and the patterns and I ended up sort of 
staggering them a little bit rather than in the pattern where they just created lines of color. And the final thing that I did differently was that I joined them with a single crochet join as you go method, which made a little border around each of the colors. And then I also finished it off with a single crochet border around the outside. The blanket took me about nine months to finish. That included knitting 24 of each of the colored squares, blocking all of those squares, and then joining them together and weaving in all of the ends. I do have a little bit of some of the colors left over and a few of the colors I was even able to get a few additional squares out. So what I think I'll do with that is maybe make a small lap blanket or a, a pillow or something so that it kind of ties in and it can sit on an occasional chair next to the lounge and be part of the whole thing. As I said, I'm extremely happy with it and so is the rest of the family. It will now sit on the back of the couch and has been finished in perfect time for the winter fire season where we can snuggle with it on the couch. And when one project finishes, another one begins. Or in this case, I've grabbed out a whip that I had sitting in with my other projects. It is the Hip Pop Jumper, and I think I've shown it before. It has a series of cables down the front, and it is a garter stitch jumper. And I worked on it a little while ago, came back to it, and... I was a little bit hesitant about the color. The, the greens were kind of pulling a little bit and it was getting some flashing. And I wasn't sure that it was gonna look any good, but I kind of continued on and I tried it on yesterday. Um, and looking at it in the mirror, I just knew that it, the pulling was too much. I wasn't gonna wear it. So I've ripped it completely out, which is okay. And what I'm gonna do is restart it. And this time I'm gonna alternate skeins, which is something that I recommend to people who buy my hand dye yarn, that you should alternate skeins so that you can blend the colors together and so that you don't end up with any pulling or flashing. But I, I took a risk with, uh, with this particular hand dye yarn and on this occasion, it was just a bit too much. Um, so live and learn, I guess. Um, you kind of take the risk and I took it and it didn't pay off this time so I'm going back and I'm starting again and I'm going to alternate the colors and keep a really close eye on it and make sure that it doesn't end up being really solid um, blocks of each of the colors. Well, that's it for another week. Thanks for spending some time with me. If you're enjoying these videos please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you next week on the farm. Bye.